not strong enough in faith and believe in God, you cannot break from that path that God put you in to move on to the next level that you want to take you to. this um, testimony that I am about to give is just I don't want to cry I'm not going to cry during this, this video but this is basically the story of knowing how to have faith in the Lord knowing how to just put your trust and your back onto God. I'm not gonna cry. Like I'm really not gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry. Okay. So basically I started this job um about I think is it going on like four or five months ago and before I got this job it took me Three months to get this job like literally three months it took a very long time because of this job <laughs> background check a lot of things factored into this job and God really gave me this job and I can't talk about the company and I can't talk about what the job was I can't I can't do that but um hopefully in the future hopefully I'll be able to um but yeah so I got the job boom got the job so, got the job, got the entry, I got the entry job. Mind you, I had no experience, no experience, and I got the job. All I did was pray, waited, got the, got the J-O-B. The company was like, was basically, was basically like the, like, like the shield, like the door opener to a lot of opportunities for me. So it was just like, yo, forget the pay though <laughs> it's the opportunity that matters at this point so um yeah so it's been like five months long story short I've been having issues at the job like my manager that I work with is a really she's I just been I just been having a lot of troubles at the job and it's it was just been messing with my mental state and I just I just cannot take another mental breakdown. I just couldn't take another mental breakdown. And while working at this job, I am in I would I, I am in a code and boot camp. The code the boot camp has been really stressful and hard. And to have a job that is very toxic and hard at the same time really messes with your mental state. Gotta go nose. I just don't even think that I can go through another mental breakdown. So you know what I did? I put my two weeks in. <laughs> Actually, I put three weeks, I think I put three weeks notice in because I calculated my fina my financial situation. I looked at how, like for the next couple of months, how I will be able to survive, what I need to pay. I factored all of that in and I was able to afford a lot, about probably like four months-ish. I was able to afford four months without working. So I put three weeks in so I will be able to get some amount of paycheck with that three weeks three weeks in so at that moment I decided to tell myself that I'm not gonna get a job until after I am done with my boot camp my coding boot camp but then I thought about it like I know that right after I'm done with this coding boot camp I don't hope hopefully it's not that way I don't know how I'll be able to land a job immediately because there's some things that I really want to be good at before I'm able to before I start applying to jobs in web development so I told myself, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna apply for any job. I'm not gonna apply for any job. Then I told myself, yo, I, I I gotta apply for jobs. Like, I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna play out in the future. I just cannot calculate things, so I need to get a job. So I just started applying for jobs. And when I was applying for jobs during that week, I just started praying. Something just told, just something just came over I, every day, every morning. Like I'll wake up, get on my knees, I'll pray, and I would just, I just knew, I just knew in my head that. There was nobody else I can rely on but God. Like,
I just told myself there was nobody else that I can really rely on but God. And every day I will pray and I will pray and I will tell God that you know what I'm going through and you know I cannot take another mental breakdown and I don't want to be at this job. You know what I'm facing and I need you to help me work for me. I kid you not. I put my two week notice. I'm going to put a screenshot right here. Effective date, July 7th. A week later, I got a call from this recruiter about a job. And I was thinking, oh, what is this? Like, I thought this was fake. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just, let me just go with it. Like, let me just, you know, do the interview. He got me an interview with this, with this um, company, this great company. And I was just like, oh my God, this is a great opportunity. And what I learned from my other job really gave me a backbone to really smash this interview. I did so well and it took me about two weeks. It took, no, it took, oh, it took, no, it took, why did I just say two weeks? It took about a week. It took a week and then the next week the guy scheduled me. I got an interview with the recruiter and then they scheduled me with the actual company and the interview went well. It was like I was talking to a friend, the interview went well. I kid you not, that whole week I was just praying to God. I was just like, if this job is for me, it's for me. If it's not for me, it's not for me. I don't I didn't even really care. I was just praying to God and I would just keep it faith. Like I just had faith. And I just knew that if I tell God what I'm going through, he's gonna listen. And I kid you not, after I had that interview, the end of that day, the recruiter called me back. You got it, you got the job. I got, it. I got another email that same day, and that email said, start date, July 6th. God really listened to my prayers. He really listened to my prayers. I was able to land a better paying job with a better company. And my testimony for this, my testimony for this video is just have faith. Because if you don't have faith, God, if you don't have faith, this is really no point of praying to God. How much is, it doesn't matter what good you do. It doesn't matter if you you follow the Ten Commandment. If you don't have faith with God, your relationship with if you don't have faith in God, your relationship with God doesn't exist. And yeah, so basically that's my testimony. I put my two weeks in, and during that two weeks, I was able to land a job in less than a week. So yeah, have faith in the Lord God. God is hearing your troubles and don't ever let a job break you. But I just want to say if you're struggling out there and you are in a state where you're scared to leave a job because you don't know another job, another door is going to open for you, put all your faith into God. Put all your faith, put relax your back onto God. Have God in your head, in your mind, and just know that God is there for you. Don't be, God can give you an opportunity, God can open an opportunity for you just to open another door. God can give you a path to go into so you can learn and gain to move on to the next level. If you're not strong enough in faith and believe in God, you cannot break from that path that God put you in to move on to the next level that he want to take you to. And that's all I want to say. So yeah, all my believers out there, if you're not a believer, it's time for you to be a follower of Christ and just, all you need is just to have faith. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to, you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to really condemn yourself because you have so much sin. No, just put your faith in God and just know that God loves you. Christ died for us so our sins can be washed away. No matter how much perfect you are, it doesn't matter. You just have to have faith. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Thank God. And yeah, um, hopefully in the future, I'm able to have a lot more testimonies that I would like to share. But I just want to wait for things to work and play in their way before I'm able to share it with you, my if I'm able to share it on my YouTube.
see you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye can i add the fact that we're in covid 19 and millions of people lost their job and millions of people are looking for a job millions of people are without a job All I had to do was put faith in the Lord. I had to wipe my tears and just come back and just gather my thoughts. <laughs> but if you watch this video, God bless you. And I pray to God, Lord, answer your prayers. And God is, will always be with you. Christ is with you. Christ died for us to be able to not dwell on our sins and for us to believe that God is real. Thank you.